Welcome to Progressive D&D, where every game is an adventure waiting to unfold. For the past five years, this table has been the center of countless stories, laughter, and epic battles. It's seen modifications and upgrades, becoming a steadfast companion in our journey. But today, we're ready for the next chapter. Join us as we embark on a quest to build the ultimate gaming table. Before we dive in, a huge shout out to John Allen on Tinkercad for making his game table model publicly available. It's creators like him who inspire us to start somewhere, dream big. My vision is a table that not only fits eight players comfortably, but also enhances the gaming experience. Picture this, a table with special foldable tops for each player, an expanded dungeon master section with ample counter space, and a built-in video screen for immersive digital displays. Imagine built-in cup holders, dice trays, and room for future special effects. This prototype is the first step in bringing that vision to life. Armed with Tinkercad and a resin 3D printer, we set out to create our prototype. After spending a lot of time arranging the pieces, waiting for three hours and 44 minutes, well, we faced our first setback, a complete print failure. But in the spirit of creativity, setbacks are merely stepping stones. Since I'm not one to be put off by a little failure, I turned to my trusty laser cutter, embracing the warmth and authenticity of wood for our prototype since, hey, that's what the real thing's gonna be made out of. The transition from 3D models to 2D cutouts in the 3D builder tool it was a little bit of a challenge, but it led to the creation of precise cut patterns ready for my laser. Time to cut out and piece together a 3D puzzle. Building the prototype was a journey back to my childhood, a hands-on experience that really helped me refine the design. Foldable nooks, a novel concept for player storage and space, taught me the importance of precision and how I really wish I had some tiny hinges so that these could actually work. But I have to remind myself, this is a proof of concept. So it's time to take a look and see how are these little cubbies lining up. Well, shit. Excuse my language, but as you can maybe see, these pieces aren't lining up together. Yep, so that's me starting to take every single piece apart. This, if for no other reason, is a perfect example of why this prototype was a great idea. If I had started building these with my idea in my head and actually built true full-size pieces, Let's just say they would have been put together a lot better than just a little bit of glue.
So my ultimate goal for the new table is gonna be to use the legs and the cutout and some of the structure from my existing table. Uh, basically, I want the table I'm creating to be a table topper, more or less, that I'm gonna set down on that base. Uh, I already have it engineered with the video screen in it and the supporting structure. So with just a little bit of re-engineering, I'm gonna be able to use that. So what I'm doing here is just basically creating a very simple table base with four legs. I'm doing this just so that the prototype will have a base to sit on, uh, which will help me complete my proof of concept. So this isn't an engineered structure that I'm designing here for the prototype. It's just something for the top to sit on. Designing the player stations was a venture into the unknown. Uh, each station is going to offer a generous play area. Uh, my plan is for it to be 32 inches wide by probably about 18 inches deep for each player uh, with plans for integrated cup holders, dice trays, and even power and USB and lighting options. You may have started to notice that the layout of the table is a little bit different. It's designed like a trapezoid. Uh, my thought is this is going to allow the, the players, one, to be able to see each other a little bit better. Uh, for me, as the dungeon master, to be able to see the players a little bit better. And in the future, I have some aspirations of maybe streaming some games, so I thought that might be kind of future proofing this table to where I can add cameras and things uh, that will help me have a better production value. The Dungeon Master section, which is going to be wider and slightly inset into the table, eliminates the need for a dungeon master screen and enhances interaction. My dream is for to have programmable LED lighting uh, to elevate the ambience and a fog machine for special effects. But you know what? I'm open to your suggestions. What, what suggestions do you have and what ideas do you have uh, that you would add to this table? Let me know down in the comments and let's have a great conversation about that. So it's time to get back to that base that I was talking about earlier that I built. As I mentioned, purely it was just something so I can set this topper on. Now you're about to get your first little glimpse of where I'm headed with this idea. So why don't we put a little finish on this? I chose dark walnut for my prototype. I anticipate a stunning piece that not only holds up to the rigors of gameplay, but also complements my game room. Witness the transformation in this quick staining montage. And as a final touch, I cut out a piece of felt for the game table. 
And here it is, my labor of love. The excitement and feedback I'm getting from my players has been incredibly motivating, affirming my vision for this table. But this prototype is just the beginning. Please give me your ideas and suggestions and do you see me doing something wrong or something I'm going to miss when I'm building this table? Please share your ideas and experiences and help me shape the ultimate gaming table.